topic, we first must point out what euthanasia is. Euthanasia is a painless killing of a patient suffering from an incurable and painful disease or in an irreversible coma. It's evident that this topic is widely disputed. To look at it objectively, there are numerous reasons why euthanasia should in fact be in place if needs be. In this country, we are entitled to freedom of choice. So why should this be any different for someone who wants to relieve the pain of their suffering? Everyone has a right to die just as much as their right to live. The money used for the um, upkeep for someone who wants to be euthanized could in fact be used to treat someone who actually wants to fight for their life. So not only does it make economic sense, it can also aid to improve other people's life. Euthanasia should be made legal in Ireland because people have a right to the autonomy of their own body. In a situation where a person is terminally ill and is in a great amount of pain, they should have the option to pass away and the state should now have laws in place to prevent a citizen from choosing how and when they die. It can be argued that passive euthanasia is already practiced in Ireland. For example, there is the practice of making a do not attempt resuscitation order where a person has requested that they do not receive treatment if their heart stopped beating or they stop breathing. Another controversial practice is known as palliative sedation. This is when a person is experiencing a great amount of pain and there is no effective treatment for them. Um, a person is put to sleep using state medication for example, palliative sedation is used to treat burn victims uh, who are expected to die. Many of these practices uh, that are used are in end-of-life care are essentially a type of euthanasia in all but name. So the pragmatic argument is that if euthanasia is essentially being performed anyways, society might as well properly legalise and regulate euthanasia. While these methods are highly controversial and not accepted by most doctors, they are methods that are still used in this country nonetheless. In 2015, the journal wrote an article stating that Ireland's euthanasia laws are one of the strictest in the world. Many arguments can be put against the legislation, particularly the argument best known as the slippery slope. This theory acknowledges that legalising euthanasia will undoubtedly start with voluntary euthanasia, but just how far will the parameters reach? Will a vol involuntary euthanasia become an issue? Keeping euthanasia illegal means that no government can use it for political means, as seen in the acts of the Nazis. The idea that every human life is precious is undermined by euthanasia. In order to change our laws, new legislation must be developed and a change to the constitution, which can only come about by means of a, re of a referendum. However, there could be major consequences to giving a definition to the right to die in the legislation, uh, in the constitution. Amending the constitution would mean acknowledging a right to self-determination. Self-determination could allow for a wide range of possibilities, such as the legalisation of abortion. Whilst abortion is undoubtedly a controversial topic, so is euthanasia, and how therefore does one find a middle ground? An inter interesting distinction that must be made is that euthanasia does not apply to those who are dying in the current moment in time. Those who are in, more, in a more immediate sense dying may refuse care and die at home, take palliative sedation, or sign a do not resuscitate order. As acknowledged in Fitzpatrick, where a competent adult refuses care given, the normal duty of care that is usually held by a practitioner then becomes discharged, and this therefore removes the issue of murder or manslaughter in regards assisted suicide. The patient also has a degree of control over their medical care. Therefore, euthanasia regards people who aren't in the moment dying although they may indeed be in intolerable pain and have a condition that may lead to their death as their condition progresses. So, in this way, regarding the right to die, for those who are dying, they already have a degree of control over their right to die. Euthanasia is illegal in Ireland under Section 2, Subsection 2 of the Criminal Law Suicide Act 1993. In this, it states that a person who aids, abates, conceals or procures the suicide of another person or an attempt by another to commit suicide shall be guilty of an offence and shall be liable on conviction, on indictment, to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 14 years. A persuasive case concerning euthanasia is that of Oral Inglis, the 2637th case to go towards the English and Welsh Criminal Court of Appeals in 2010. In this case, a young man suffered catastrophic, uh, suffered catastrophic head injuries, which resulted in him being left in a vegetative state. His mother, the defendant, in acting in familial love to end his suffering, injected him with heroin, killing him. The point of law contest was whether or not 
Her mercy killing of her son amounted to a defensive provocation of murder. The Criminal Court of Appeal found her guilty of murder and in the judgment said that the fact that he was alive, that life could not lawfully be extinguished. A disabled life, even a life of the extremes of disability, is not one jot less precious than the life of an able-bodied person. RE award of court in a 1972 case where a woman suffered severe brain damage during an operation which left her immobile. The court granted euthanasia under two conditions, that A, the subject is conscious of their decision, and B, that they have no pleasure in enjoyment from life. This test concerns itself also with the right to privacy and autonomy. It was held that euthanasia is defined in law as taking positive steps towards death or ending another person's life. To quote Chief Justin Hamilton from re award of court, the court can never sanction steps to terminate a life. This can be inferred as meaning that the state cannot and will not warrant or permit a party of any in any circumstance to end or terminate the life of another person. Developing on this uh, is relation to the upcoming re uh, referendum in relation to Article 40.3.3 of the Constitution, which is to do with the woman's right to seek an abortion in Ireland. If abortion was to be legalised, the principal arguments of other articles relating to Article 40.3.2, the right to life, which in turn deals with euthanasia and the death penalty, would be undermined. This in turn would throw euthanasia into the public eye and possibly, consequently, a referendum. Go for it. The laws relating to euthanasia are different in each country. These may be reflective of religious or moral beliefs in that country. In most countries, the law categorises euthanasia and makes distinctions. The British House of Lords Act Committee on Medical Ethics defined euthanasia as a deliberate intervention undertaken with the express intention of ending a life to relieve inactable suffering. Despite efforts to change government policy, there has been little change in the 20th century. Active voluntary euthanasia is illegal in Ireland and most countries. However, in Belgium, the Netherlands and some USA states, voluntary euthanasia is legal. In the UK, euthanasia is illegal. If any person found assisting suicide is breaking the law. Under the 1961 Suicide Section is the criminal offence punishable up to 14 years imprisonment to assist, aid or counsel someone in relation to taking their own life. The authorities may be nevertheless decide not to prosecute taking into account all the circumstances. In September 2009, the direct public prosecution was forced by an appeal of the House of Lords to make public criteria that influences whether a person is to prosecute or not. However, in the Netherlands, euthanasia is legal. It was the first country to legalise euthanasia, but it was very, but it has very strict conditions for when it can be performed. Much like in the Netherlands, many countries have become more open to the idea of euthanasia as an assisted suicide, provided the appeal, the appeal falls under significant circumstances. An example of this can be seen in Canadian legislation, where medical assistance can be obtained, given the patient is suffering from a serious and incurable disease where the foreseeable decline in capabilities or even smoke death has been established. Before a medical practitioner can provide a person with medical assistance in dying, they must first ensure that the applicant has met the criteria set out by legislation and that the individual has voluntarily made the request themselves. A key factor in the granting of medical assistance is that the option to withdraw the request is available at any given moment with a compulsory 10-day waiting period before the assisted suicide can take place. This ensures the patient has adequate time to process the information that they have received. The legislation of euthanasia remains a long battle as fear grows that the culture of death may become normalised through the introduction of such legalisation as in many countries have criminalised the act in an attempt to deter it. Up until December 2017, it was a criminal offence to provide euthanasia in Italy, with many high profile cases obtaining up to 15 years in prison. This also demonstrates the level of progress that has occurred in many European countries as Italy has recently allowed for the refusal of medical treatment, food and hydration to occur if set out in an individual's living will. The fact that a Roman Catholic nation such as Italy is able to develop their laws, even though as opposed to church teachings, indicates that the idea of euthanasia is becoming more of an open topic for discussion, with a significant thought, thought being put into the substance of the debate. Ireland can adopt Dutch laws and legislation regarding euthanasia, which is known to have been practiced since 1973, even though it is punishable through Article 293 of the Penal Code. This states that a person who takes the life of another person at that person's express and serious request is punishable by a maximum of 12 years or by fine. In late 2000, the Dutch government introduced its proposal to legalise euthanasia into the Second Chamber of Parliament. This was passed and then proclaimed in the First Chamber in 2001. 
It had very strict regulations and changed the outlook on euthanasia in the Netherlands. If this was introduced in Ireland, it may have the same positive and negative effects, such as a broader acceptance of euthanasia in the country. Um, otherwise, it would undermine the efforts and creativity of individuals committed to providing and further developing palliative care. To investigate public opinion on whether or not euthanasia should be legalised, Ireland should hold a referendum. This will help understand different views on this controversial topic. If euthanasia were to be legalised by referendum, it would need to be ensured that the wording of this new law was precise. This would be vital in making sure that the euthanasia is kept under control and not taken advantage of. It is essential that the law is worded to fit our constitution if the law legalising euthanasia is going to come into place. However, euthanasia does not have to be legalised. It is a controversial topic and by referendum we can begin to understand the various opinions people have regarding euthanasia. This is a topic that can no longer be kept in the dark. It has become an issue of too much importance to be silenced in this day and age.